A few weeks ago, we shared a quick glimpse of how we use Google Anti-Gravity as a web designer. And a lot of you loved that video. Quite a few of you even asked for a proper step-by-step -step detailed tutorial. So that's exactly what we're doing today. In this video, I'll show you how to build a complete website using Google Anti-Gravity and then bring it into WordPress. Even if you've never built a website before, that's completely fine. I'll walk you through the entire process, how to plan the site, refine the design and content, and finally make it live. Before we start, here's why I use anti-gravity. Building a website isn't hard because of code. It's hard because of clarity. Most of the time is spent deciding what to build, not actually building it. Anti-gravity helps me get that clarity fast by handling the busy work so I can focus on thinking and designing instead of getting stuck. Now, when you first open anti-gravity, the dashboard might look unfamiliar, especially if you're new to tools like this. But once you know what you're looking for, it's actually quite simple. The main thing you'll see is something called a workspace. This is where the AI agents run and do their work. Each agent is responsible for a specific task, like planning the site, improving the design, or refining the content. There's also a playground area which lets you test ideas freely without affecting your main project. And an inbox where agents send updates or ask for approval when they're done. For this example, we're going to build a SaaS style website. That just means a typical product website with sections like a hero area at the top, features, pricing, testimonials, and a clear call to action. I'll start by creating a new workspace and then adding my first agent. This first agent is responsible for planning the overall structure of the website. Before we do anything, let's take a moment to check two settings that are easy to miss but very important. The first one is the conversation mode. Anti-gravity gives you a fast mode and a planning mode. Fast mode is useful when you already have something built and just want to make quick changes but we're starting from scratch here. So planning mode is the better option. It encourages the agent to think through the structure step by step instead of jumping straight ahead into building. Next, we can choose the model. If you're new to this, you can think of it as the brain the agent uses. Some models are faster while others are better at thinking things through. For planning a website, usually choose a model that's better at reasoning like this even if it takes a little longer. Now let's write the prompt. Here I can describe exactly what I want. A clean SaaS landing page with a strong hero section, feature sections, pricing testimonials, and a sign up call to action. I'll keep the instructions simple and clear so the agent knows exactly what to do. Once I'm happy with the prompt, I press enter and let it work. After a short moment, the agent generates a detailed plan. This plan explains what sections the website will have, how they're structured, and how everything fits together. This step is especially important if you're a beginner. I always take a minute to read through the plan before approving it. It's much easier to fix things here than after the site is already built. Once everything looks good, I approve it and let the agent continue. Now anti-gravity starts building the website based on that plan. As it works, it opens a live preview so you can actually see the site coming together. It also runs basic tests and captures screenshots along the way, which makes it easier to understand what's changing in real time. When the first version is ready, you already have a working website. From here, I usually add another agent that focuses on design. This agent looks at spacing, layout balance, and overall visual clarity. Let it review the site and then apply only the changes that genuinely improve the design. After that, I can add a content focused agent and this agent helps improve things like headlines, section text, and call to action buttons. Again, I review the suggestions carefully and treat them like feedback rather than blindly accepting everything. One really useful feature here is how feedback works visually. Anti-gravity shows screenshots of the page as it's being tested. 
instead of writing long explanations, I can click directly on a screenshot and leave a short note. Because the feedback is tied to a specific part of the page, the agent understands exactly what needs to change. This makes revisions much faster and far less confusing. As agents finish their work or need approval, messages appear in the inbox. This way you don't have to constantly check on progress. You simply review the things when they're ready. Once the design and content feels right, the final step is getting the site into WordPress. To do this, I add a WordPress builder agent. This agent prepares the website so it can be used as a WordPress theme, which means WordPress can handle things like pages, menus, and content management. Anti-gravity generates all the website files for us. This includes PHP files for things like the header, footer, main templates, and other parts that WordPress needs to run a theme. What we need to do now is place all of these generated PHP files into a single folder. This folder will become your WordPress theme. Once all the files are inside that folder, we're done with the setup part. Now we're ready to bring this into WordPress. To do that, I open my WordPress dashboard, go to appearances, and then click on themes. Now click on add new, choose upload theme, Select the theme file generated by Antigravity and install it and activate it. That's it. Your site is now live. You can preview it immediately and see the full website running inside WordPress. The structure and design came from Antigravity and WordPress is simply handling the content and navigation. You've gone from a blank idea to a fully working website even if you've never done this before. And this is really just scratching the surface of what you can do with anti-gravity. What we built here is a complete website, but you can take this much further. You can build immersive 3D websites with scroll triggered animations like this, interactive product experiences and much more. I've made another video where I go deep into creating a full 3D scroll animated website using anti-gravity. So if you want to explore that next, click here to watch the full video.